A recent study found that most smart speakers will wake up about once per hour on a false positive. These false positives are often triggered by words similar to their wake words or by dialogue in TV shows. That's happened to me before. Huh? What? Who said your name? This may sound scary, but the data being collected during these false positives helps the device discern what's a real command and what's a fake one. When a command is determined to be a false positive, the microphone shuts off within seconds. Not that it's any less scary that they are slowly learning when they are not being summoned. So then, what's happening when they're just chilling? Are they thinking? That said, the practices of these companies don't always keep your privacy in mind. If you're concerned about potential risks, a good way to avoid randomly triggering your smart assistant is to mute the microphone when you're not using it. Sure, it turns into a paperweight until unmuted, but it means you can dish on your boss knowing they'll be none the wiser. You should also look for any products that keep your data stored locally rather than in the cloud. Local storage is always safer, as it can't be accessed from outside your home. And it's nice to know that you can always take a hammer to your toaster if you think it hurt your secrets. Next question. My smart lights keep turning on and off in my living room. Which should I be more worried about, ghosts or hackers? Every new device you add to your network opens you up to potential security risks, even if it's just a smart appliance. When an IoT device is hacked, it can lead to scary, even poltergeist-like situations. <sighs> Mommy! My garage door opening and closing on its own is enough of a sign for me to burn the house down and move to another state. I'm talking Mississippi. So how do we prevent this? Well, one of the biggest issues plaguing the internet of things, no standardization! Let's look at it this way. You've got a smart doorknob and a smart hairbrush. Your smart doorknob gets regular firmware updates from the manufacturer. However, the hairbrush you spent all your birthday money on hasn't been updated in years, and there are massive security flaws that have gone unresolved. Even though your doorknob is as secure to the outside world as it could possibly be, your hairbrush provides a potential backdoor into your network, exposing not just your doorknob, but all your devices to whomever hacks in. Mm, mm, mm. Lack of standardization is one of the major cause of security flaws. If you have five devices that each speak their own language, they won't learn from the shortcomings of their peers. However, a group of major tech companies is working on a universal set of guidelines called the Matter Standard that aims to make smart devices more compatible across the board. For now, the best thing you can do before buying is to read the privacy policy or code of conduct. Like I mentioned before, you can also check out our privacy not included list to see which devices are more secure than others. They may not be so smart now, but what about years from now? These things have evolved! Yeah!